Hi everyone, let's talk about the chain rule for events in probability. We're going to start off with conditional probability. The definition of conditional probability is that if we have events A and B, then the probability of B happening, assuming that A has happened, that we know for sure that A happens, is equal to the probability of A intersect B divided by the probability of A. And there's a nice visual way of, of representing this. Suppose we have the event B here and the event A over here. So this one is B and this one is A. Then B intersect A is this region here and A is this region here plus the orange region. So what we're looking at is orange divided by orange union blue. So it's sort of like we don't care about what's in this region over here, the pink region, because pink over here is irrelevant. It's irrelevant because it doesn't lie inside A. We're, we're restricting B to those parts of B that are in A. So if we take this equation and we clear the denominator, we find that P of B, P of um, A intersect B is equal to P of A times P of B given A. And it's natural to ask, does this generalize? And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to be generalizing this to the chain rule. What the chain rule states is, in, in its most um, notation heavy form, which I, I'm going to I'm going to make less notation heavy in just a second, so hold on a second. P of the probability of the intersection of AI of I equals to 1 through N is equal to P of A1 times the product from K equals to 2 to N of the probability of AK given the intersection of the AI from I equals to 1 through K minus 1. So all the way up to K minus 1, which is right before K. So this looks daunting, and I want to write this out. So let's unwrap the notation. What this really is saying is that the probability of A1 intersect, A2 intersect, all the way through to intersect AN is equal to the probability of A1 times the probability of A2 given A1 times the probability of A3 given both A1 and A2 all the way through to the probability of AN given A1 intersect A2 intersect all the way through to AN minus 1. So this is what it is without notation. Now we could prove this formally by induction, but there's a better way of doing it that's more um, intuitive and easy to conceptualize and that's by just using the definition of conditional probability. So we're going to do that and that'll prove this chain rule. In fact you'll be seeing a bit of a chain reaction when we use telescoping. So let's start with the complicated side P of A1 times probability of A2 given A1 times the probability of A3 given A1 intersect A2 all the way through to probability of AN 
given a1 all the way through, intersect all the way through to a n minus 1. So let's unwrap this. This equals to probability of a1 times, now using conditional probability here, the definition, we find that it's p of a2 well, let's actually, let, let's flip it a bit. A1 intersect A2 divided by probability of A1 times probability of A1 intersect A2 intersect A3 divided by probability of A1 intersect A2 all the way through to probability of A1 intersect all the way through to An. divided by the probability of a1 intersect all the way through to intersect a n minus 1. So what you should notice here is that we have cancellations. This cancels with this, then this cancels with this, and this cancels with what comes next all the way through to cancellations down here. And what we're left with is simply probability of a1 intersect a2 intersect all the way through to intersect a n and that proves the chain rule for events in probability. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.